what's going on guys drones and dogs here and I'm out here with one of my favorite uh, GPS drones this is the JJ Pro X5 epic which is uh, basically uh, a exact uh, replica of the um, bugs 5w drone now this guy has GPS 1080p camera looks really well you can adjust this uh, 1080p camera from the transmitter which is also nice uh, you get about 15 to 20 minutes of flight time on uh, one battery this is a proprietary yeah proprietary battery uh, 7.4 volts which is uh, two cells 1800 milliamp hour battery so it's really nice uh, lipo battery so no on and off switch on the drone so once you give a uh, connection to the drone the drone is on and it has this it even has this bug style transmitter which is also nice with that uh, unlock and lock the motor button uh, auto take off and auto land button automatic return to home photo button and video button and here here's, here's how you adjust the camera these antennas of course are fake your on and off switch your uh, turn on the GPS take off the GPS and your headless mode so this is a really nice drone. I've already flown this guy on the camera, I mean on the uh, channel. I already did a review and showed you guys how it worked with the follow me, it has follow me, um, waypoints, all type of stuff, man. It has all the features you would want, but you do have to have a uh, 5G Wi-Fi. You have to have a special Wi-Fi on your phone to uh, fly this guy. With a lot of these new drones, you have to have that 5G Wi-Fi to fly these guys and I know uh, some people don't have that special Wi-Fi on their phones But I wanted to fly this guy today to let you guys know that you don't you don't have to fly it with your phone You can fly this guy line of sight. I do have a um, a class 10 a class 10 16 gig uh, SD, car, SD card in the slot back there. There's a SD, SD card slot in the back of the camera I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's an SD card in the slot so I put that in there and you can just fly this guy just using the uh, remote and the drone itself. You don't have to have the phone if you don't have the special Wi-Fi that you need. Now, the only downfall to that is you won't be able to see what the drone is seeing uh, live. You know what I'm saying? So you won't be able to see what the drone is seeing live. But you will get better range with the drone because you don't have the, the Wi-Fi signal uh, interrupting. You know what I'm saying? Because this is, you know, with that Wi-Fi signal. But like I said, you do, you still can record, you still can't fly the drone, you just won't be able to see what it sees, and you won't be able to do like the waypoints without the app. You know, you, you won't be able to do the waypoints, you won't be able to do the follow me, and you won't be able to do the circle me. But, you know, I, a lot of people don't really use that stuff too much. I don't really use it that much when I fly. I just like to fly it and just have fun and fly. So I'm gonna show you guys today, we are here with the JJ Pro X5 Epic. And I'm going to show you guys that you can fly this guy without using the app or the Wi-Fi. You can just fly it just, just using the transmitter itself. That's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and um, pop this battery in there. And lock it in. You hear it do its little dance, its little song. Now you do have to calibrate this drone every time you fly it. Which is what you want to do with every GPS drone. You always want to calibrate it. So you know what I'm saying? Now when you turn this guy on, you're gonna see these flashing lights. You see how the lights flash? We're gonna do it, go ahead and uh, spin it this way three to five times. Okay. Then you wanna also turn it up, or you can face it up or down and spin it either way another three to five times. until them lights begin to turn solid like they did, the lights turn solid. Now what we're gonna do now is, we're gonna wait until we get enough satellites to take off. I usually like to get about eight to 10 satellites before I take off, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that I got an accurate GPS lock. So right now, what it is telling us on the transmitter that we have zero satellites right now. We're just waiting to gather satellites. We have transmission to the um, to the drone from the uh, transmitter itself. We're in mode two, uh, and then it's giving us our battery life. We have full battery on the transmitter and full battery on the drone. So right away, as you can see, within a few seconds, we have 13 satellites, which is 
more than enough to take off. So to take off, you have to hit this unlock button, then the motors will unlock and start, and then you could just hit either hit this button right here to just automatically take off, or you could just throttle up. So go ahead, unlock the motors. Automatically take off. Fifteen satellites. That's its default height, right there, or its default hover, right there. So I'm just letting it do its thing right now. Okay, letting it just. What you want to do with all GPS drones? You want to make sure you got that lock. You know what I'm saying? You you want to make sure you're not getting any toilet bowl effect or anything like that, which is making when the drone kind of like spins around in a circle. And it's kind of windy here today, which is nice. If you can see the tree, trees blowing, it's fairly windy, which is a good, a good test for this guy here today. I want to lift it up a little bit and see if we can get that solid lock. Seems like we got a good solid lock on it. It's not toilet bowl or anything. It's holding up pretty nice in this wind. Look at that. Wind is picking up holding up fairly nice also to test that lock I'm gonna test that lock and see uh, see what it does okay seems to be locked on pretty nice it goes right back into its spot look at that so that's we got a nice GPS lock also you can uh, Look at the camera, you can adjust it. So, wind is kicking up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press this uh, recording button. Uh, as you can see, the uh, recording is blinking to let you know you guys are recording. So we are recording right now. 16 satellites. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. is kicking up it's fairly windy I don't know if you guys can see it right now distance is we're uh, we're 106 105 meters out 105 meters out and we're only 12 meters up and we're hovering pretty good got the camera going I got a fly it around. It's pretty windy too. I'm not taking it too far because it really ain't no point. You guys won't be able to see it. I'm bringing it back over here. Bringing it back over. Really nice drone. Look at that. You got them green lights underneath and red lights in the front, which is really nice because the reason why they put the red lights in the front because the red light doesn't interfere with the camera as much. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Yeah, red light doesn't interfere with the camera as much, but this guy is a really nice drone. We're going to go take it up. Let's take it up. Picking it up. Look at that. We got a hawk up there. I can go up there and fly with that hawk if I wanted to. Don't
right now. My height, I'm 49 meters up. I'm only 10 meters from my home point. And I'm just hovering really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the recording really quick. And I'm just gonna uh, take a couple photos. Take a couple photos. There's another photo. There's another photo. Okay. Starting the recording again. And with the recording started, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit the automatic return to home. So I'm not touching anything. I'm just gonna let it return to home all on its own. We're pretty high up there, 50 meters up. And it's gonna return to home all, all on its own. And what I wanna do now, I'm gonna aim the camera down. While it comes down, I'm gonna aim the camera down. So that way, camera should be pointed to the ground. Should be, and you should be, you should be able to see me. We're up there. Hopefully it doesn't land in this grass. If it lands in the grass, I'm gonna gonna have to cancel it so because I don't want it to land in the grass and it looks like it's probably it probably is let's see what it does aiming the camera back up yep it's gonna hit the grass so I'm gonna redirect it so you can't redirect it and I'll just let it land I didn't want it to hit the grass Motor's automatically shut off on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that recording. So there you guys have it. That is a JJ Pro X5 Epic. Really nice, capable GPS drone. You don't have to have that special 5G Wi-Fi to fly this guy. You can't fly this guy line of sight. So just wanted to let you guys know that. This is Drones and Dogs. Hope you enjoyed this episode with the JJ Pro X5 Epic. And I appreciate you guys giving me a like and a subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel already. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Drones and Dogs.